Step one. Get a credit card. I'm sure you've heard it a thousand and one times before. You need a credit card. If you're 18, get a credit card. If you're below 18, ask your parents about putting your name on their credit accounts. It will help build your credit and set you up epic style. Okay, if you're above 18, that's okay. Block out all that inner Dave Ramsey and go get you a credit card. This is literally mandatory. Well, I guess it's not mandatory. There's a few workarounds. They're pretty ridiculous. They're comical. Get a credit card, gamer. I insist. Step two, keep that balance at zero. Keep it at zero. No, keep it at zero, all right? Don't listen to all these old wives' tales of, oh, well, just, just leave a little bit of balance over at the end of the month. Paying a little bit of interest, it builds your score better. It makes it stronger. It's, it's, it's faster. It's a bit... It's all crap. It's it, it's crap. I explain credit in depth in, uh, in in this video, okay? And I'll, I'll link to it at the end. But don't listen to all wives' tales. Just keep your balance at zero and basically follow this golden rule. Don't spend any money on a credit card that you can't pay off immediately. However, do use credit cards to spend your money. Not only is there insurance, like, we'll get into credit cards in a later video. This is how to build your credit. Step three, get more cards, all right? The more cards and accounts that you have, the sh earlier on especially, the stronger your credit account's gonna be. Think about it this way. If you have 10 credit accounts from the beginning of your credit history, just for easy explaining sake, all right? And then 10 years later, you get another credit account. It's not gonna hurt your overall average history that much because you have a brand new account. But if you only have like one or two credit accounts, you wait a while, you get another one, that's gonna cut, that is gonna cut hard your average credit history. So get as many as you can early on and as soon as you get declined for newer credit cards, stop. You don't want more inquiries on your history report and unnecessary. Additionally, you know, a little bonus tip I'm sure you could kind of on to. Never, 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 never miss a payment. Never miss a payment. Never miss a payment. Hence why following that golden rule of just paying things off immediately. Never, never spending money that you don't have, but still use credit cards for a slew of reasons. I'll explain that in a later video. Step four, perseverance. This one, I don't like too much. You probably don't like too much, but you know what? It's for the good of credit, confirmed. Here's why, credit is supposed to show that you're reputable, that you'll actually pay off the money you owe, all right? <clears throat> so fundamentally, it was designed to take a while to develop. It's like trust. It's like financial objective trust, if that makes sense. It's, it's really nice that we can objectify that a bit. And just, it helps things immensely in my opinion, and think about it, even if there was a way to just instantly boost your credit score, when your lender pulls your credit report, they get your history with it. They don't just get the number like with Credit Karma. And I, I'm pretty sure even Credit Karma shows a level of your history at this point. So if your credit score just instantly went up just before you got a loan, I wanted to say sussy, I won't say sussy, I'm sorry. Sincerely, all right. Now, step five. Get other loans. Mortgages, epic. I'm not just saying that because I'm a realtor and uh, kind of a fanatic, but no, seriously, mortgages are some of the best loans you can possibly get. My, especially with a good credit score. It's basically free money and you get all this equity. It's just, it's epic. Highly recommend a mortgage. Car loans, yeah. I recommend car loans if you do it this way. Don't buy new, buy used. Go to your local credit union. They've got amazing, most of the time. They got good rates, and of course, compare the rates. Get pre-approved for a certain amount and buy used. Now, you know what a big no-no is? Personal loans. Do not, have, promise me right now, look me in the face and promise me you will not get a personal loan or an early paycheck loan. Please? For me? For you, no, for you. For your family. For your wallet. For your quality of life. Thank you. Thank you. Now, that includes early paycheck loans. Did I say that? Don't do that again. Now, I got a few bonus tips for you. Step six. Smack that mother on the way. Subscribe for part two. Follow the Patreon Twitter. Thanks for using the beta down on online. These are the best tips on the way. You need to follow me for part two. Okay, I will not include all the tips in one conglomerate video. I just love to waste your time and squeeze and wring every ounce of watch time I possibly can out of you. Odd nauseum. JK. Law. But, no, no, I got a serious tip for you, Gamer. Step seven. Basically, just don't listen to Dave Ramsey. Unless, you know, I mean, to each their own. Dave Ramsey teaches a very particular set of financial practices um, that I don't recommend 
in general. But if you have a problem with spending as a whole, right? Like you have a tendency to max out your cards and your score has just been bad for a very long time. It, maybe you need some Dave Ramsey, but don't worry. I just, if you're trying to build your credit score, I don't, I, I don't. Unless you need some solution for really bad sending habits, I, I don't, I don't recommend Dave Ramsey, I don't. And I mean really bad, like, like gambling addiction tier, but with credit, yeah. But, uh, you know what? Let's move on to the final step, step eight, and that is to watch this video of me explaining credit entirely and in depth, followed by projectile, uh, 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 profuse vomiting. Stay epic and hopefully we talk soon.